I would like to tell you a story. It's the story of a place called Mouseland. And this is where all the little mice lived and played, were born and died, and where they lived much the same as you and I do. They even had a parliament. <laughs> and every four years they held an election, used to walk down to the polls and cast their ballots. Some of them even got a ride to the polls. <laughs> and they got a ride for the next four years afterwards, too. Just like you and me. And every time on election day, all the little mice used to go to the ballot box and they used to elect a government. A government made up of big, fat, black cats. Now, if you think it's strange that mice should elect a government made up of cats, you just look at the history of Canada. And maybe you'll see they weren't any stupider than we are. Now, I'm not saying anything against the cats. They were nice fellows. They conducted their government with dignity. They passed good laws. That is, laws that were good for cats. But the laws that are good for cats aren't very good for mice. One of the laws said that mouse holes had to be big enough so that a cat could get his paw in. <laughs> Another law said that mice could only travel at certain speeds so that a cat could get his breakfast without too much effort. <laughs> All of the laws were good laws for cats. But oh, they were hard on the mice. And life was getting harder and harder. And when the mice couldn't take it anymore, they decided something had to be done about it. So they went en masse to the polls and they voted the black cats out. They put in the white cats. <laughs> and still, nothing changed. This is an illegal gathering and we're shutting it down now. Everybody out. Oh, what the hell is this? We have a right to a meeting. Not without a permit. Bylaw was passed just this morning. Let's go, folks. We don't want to make any arrests, but we will if we have to. Come on. You too, Reverend. Charlie, you come along with us. They voted the white cats out and they put the black ones in again, and you can imagine what happened then. And they even tried half black cats and half white cats, and they called it a coalition. But that didn't change anything. You see, my friends, the trouble was not the color of the cats. The trouble was that they were cats. So naturally, they looked after cats instead of mice. And then one day, there came along one little mouse who had an idea. My friends, watch out for that little fellow with an idea. And he said to all the little mice, he said, Listen, fellas, why do we keep on electing a government made up of cats? Why don't we elect a government made up of mice? Oh, they said, he's a Bolshevik, lock him up! <laughs> and so they threw him in jail. But I want to remind you, you can lock up a mouse, and you can lock up a man. But you can't lock up an idea. And one of these days, that little mouse is going to get himself elected. Myself, I say it's high time. Yeah. Yeah.